There's something I like to talk about in terms of information graphics, and that's using circles as opposed to squares. And so one of the biggest distinctions of the conscious communication card set is that all the cards are round. And this is pretty unique. There must be some card sets that are round, but I don't think many are, most are square. And so you may think that this is not really that an important distinction. The thing is when you start to organize in circles, everything starts to change. You know, what's kind of strange is that when you think of time, you think in circles really, because the earth supposedly is going around the sun in some sort of circle or oval, and the earth is supposed to be spinning in some sort of circle or oval, they're not moving in squares. And yet we represent information in squares. So that alone is something that I think you should just kind of think about. Behind me is something called the time translator. And this is the main map behind the whole inflow matrix operating system, which is behind these card sets. The whole operating system is hidden in the card set. And so each one of these is a cycle. The purple is a lifetime cycle. The blue is a, a yearly cycle. The aquamarine is a lunar cycle. The green is a daily cycle. The yellow is a seasonal cycle. The pink is an hourly cycle. The orange is a minute cycle. And then we sort of go out of the idea of cycles into the present moment, which is the red, and then into the higher levels of consciousness, which is timelessness, which is magnetic in the middle. And so what we have here is called the time translator. And what this is, is circles embedded within circles or cycles embedded within cycles. And as you can see by how I went through this, we do have a lot of different time cycles and they are at different lengths and they can fit within each other. And so the concept of having circles within circles actually makes logical sense when you think about it. Now let's say you put a word on top of each one of these cycles and you give the cycle an actual concept to see that time cycle through. So lifetime, we have research. Yearly, we have infrastructure. Lunar, we have learning. Daily, we have operations. Seasonal, we have creativity. Hourly, we have synergy. Minute to minute, we have services. Present moment is marketing or interfacing. And then timelessness is stewardship or management. So this is part of the inner magic of what you're going to be learning here in that each of these words is actually a card in the card set. And so the maps and the card sets coincide in this way. But what I'm trying to put forward here is we're taking circles now again and using a circle to represent the bit of information that connects to the other map that I showed you. And then what you can do is you can program each one of these circles with a value. So mercy at infrastructure, imitation at learning, commitment at operations, innovation at creativity, clarity at synergy, life at services, freedom at marketing, uh, authenticity at stewardship, and uh, loyalty at communication. This is for uh, Lori Renton's LR Futures values map that she made, I think, over 10 years ago and ran her business by it. These values create a field of realization, but that field is connected to other fields. So again, the circles within other circles. So it's, it's a different way of thinking. Here's another map that shows 12 circles of 12 and then a circle in the middle connected to each one. And so this is a very interesting geometric con configuration that links 144 people together in a very unique way, again, based upon the circle. So here's a map, the five communication uh, spaces map that has five different spaces, five different circles. And again, this is sort of a different way to convey information. This is a different way to organize your mind. And so even here where we have two circles, it's a lens and the circle is actually like a, a, a cross section of a conduit or a pipe. And so the idea is that consciousness actually flows through these tubes at the microcellular level. They've proven this. And so when you utilize this in terms of the card decks and you utilize thinking in circles and moving in circles and organizing things in circles, which also can be organizing things in, in tubes, it changes the, the way 
that you think. It opens up your synapses to actually sort of connect to things in a different way conceptually. And so take this in mind when we're building the new paradigm, because we're actually switching from an essential form from like a, a cube or square into a sphere or circle. And this is one of the big shifts that we're all going to experience at some point together.